Joe. How you doing? Nice right. to meet you. What's going so, on, man? Doing you know, all right? Do you think it, you think it would be better if it, you don't think the police get out and mingle with you guys? No, no they don't. The only time they get out is when they finna lock us up or something. Right. That's the only time they get out. Other than that, no. Well, they get out and ask you your name and your details. Man, I'm gonna tell you like this. Me and him yeah. standing in front of my house right a, about a month ago. Standing in front of my house. Mm -hmm. I seen the police go past the street right past my house. I knew he was going to come back. He came back two minutes later and saying, was we part of a uh, some type of... Uh, was we smoking marijuana in, in some in apartment a, complex? Right. I'm like, no, I just stepped right. out the house. And, we, and he we just really pulled us over. I'm All like, we, we three blocks him. away from where he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel like they're part of, if, part of the community? No, if they, I don't. Mm -mm. You think the relationship would be better if they no, actually they, did what he's doing? The only thing they want to do is take us in. Yeah. Get us off the street. Yeah, no matter what, no matter what your purpose is, just you know out. what the thing is. I know y'all probably heard from mom, grandma, or somebody how you approach somebody else, how they approach you back. There you go. So how they come to us that make us like, hold on, man, why you yeah. grabbing yeah. me and yeah. stuff like that? What? Yeah. Hey, can you explain to me what I did first? Yeah. What was the reason for you even messing with me in the first place? Yeah. Yeah. I, if I'm on the sidewalk, you could have said, why you ain't walking on the sidewalk? Whatever the reason is, he could have got out and approached me like a man instead of cursing. Why we gotta be this or that? Why we can't be like, young man, come here, let me let me talk to you for a second. Okay, maybe I might stop and listen to see what you gotta say. But if you jumping out with me uh, when I feel like animosity and stuff like that, well, I feel like I'm making you do your job today then. So, so it's how, it's how somebody approaches you. If the officer approaches yeah, you with respect, you would respond with respect. They're approaching us right. They're approaching us like we are already committed That's violent crime or something. They're approaching us like we, like you caught me selling dope to somebody or something like that. You ain't, you just pulled me over, okay? I pulled you over because your pants were sagging. I was like, can you pull them up? Okay, I could pull them up, obviously. No problem. I'll pull you more. Pull your pants up. Get, get off. Get, man, look. Now what? <laughs> I have to ask you, you, you um, got to meet with the Attorney General today. Yes. What was that like? It was, uh, uh, it was an honor, but it was touching. I, um, uh, what you talk I about? I reached out my hand to shake his hand. You know, that's the top law enforcement officer in this nation. And he put out both of his hands and he was hugging me. Mm -hmm. And he said, this is what policing is about. Mm -hmm. This is what policing has to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, what a great state. Did you talk about anything? Did he tell you about what he wants to happen in this community? What, did, what, did you, what can you share with us? He said, what we're seeing now, community p policing, and getting out and being a part of the community, to me, that's what he said is, is what's needed. So he talked to you about community policing, not about the case at all? No, he just said, he, he hugged me and he said, this is what policing should be. So what you're doing, what you're showing the people is what policing should be. And that's all we talked about. It, it probably lasted two or three minutes. And then he, he, he was meeting some community leaders there and talking with them. The family wasn't there yet, right? Or they? No. 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 Do you think it'll make a difference that he came here? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think it shows that uh, uh, the White House, you know, our, our government at the highest level, has heard the voices of the people that are that are here. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like the theory about the, the highest hill in the lowest valley. Yeah. You know, that White House, I would consider that the highest hill. You know, our community sometimes are the valleys. And so when our voices can be heard there, and then uh, I think those protesters are out here, those peaceful protesters are out here that understand that. Okay, the other thing is, the, the St. Anne officer pointing his gun, the semi-automatic weapon at the person and then using the foul language, um, the video is out there now. What do you want to say about that? That was inappropriate. It will, it will not be tolerated. Uh, his department has been informed of that. And they have instructed that he will not be assigned to this detail for any additional further days. What did you think when you heard about it? And you saw the video? Uh, I was upset. Uh, disappointed. Uh, angered. Uh, and that is not... And I thought it was disrespectful to every officer that's out here who's been out here since Sunday. 
So he is the example of what people here in this community want. And here's what I noticed from my time here, that the young men said that they are automatically looked at by members of law enforcement as suspects. How are you doing? Nice right. to meet you. What's going What's on, up, man? No doing all right? Do you, think it, do you think it would be better if it, you don't think the police get out and mingle with you guys? No, they don't. The only time they get out is when they finna lock us up or something. Right. That's the only time they get out. Other than that, no. Or they get out and ask you your name or your deep. Man, I'm gonna tell you like this. Me and him, yeah. standing in front of my house right about a month ago. Standing in front of my house. Mm -hmm. I seen the police go past the street right past my house. I knew he was going to come back. He came back two minutes later and saying, was we part of a uh, some type of... Uh, was we smoking in, marijuana in, in some in apartment a, complex? Right. I'm like, no, I just stepped right. out the house. And, we, and he we just really pulled us over. I'm like, we, we three chilling. blocks away from where he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel like they're part of, part of the community? If no, they, I don't. Mm -mm. You think the relationship would be better if they no, actually they, did what he's doing? The only thing they want to do is take us in. Yeah. Get us off the street. Yeah, that's no matter thing. what, no matter what your purpose is, just you know know what the thing is. I know y'all probably heard from mom, grandma, or somebody how you approach somebody else, how they approach you back. There you go. So how they come to us that make us like, hold on, man, why you yeah. grabbing yeah, on me yeah. and stuff like that? What? Well, yeah. Can you explain to me what I did first? Yeah. What was the reason for you even messing with me in the first place? Yeah, yeah. I, if I'm on the side 